I want to start by talking about how code in Python or in basically any programming language is being executed. And there are a couple of things you have to understand. The most important concept is that code will always be executed from the first to the last line. For example, if we have these three lines of code, Python is going to start from the top, so line one, this one here, then we do line two, line three, and then we continue until we reach the end of the code. And later on, we are going to learn some tools to make this more flexible. For example, if we want to repeat code or only run code if a certain condition is true. But for now, I just want to execute some basic code so we can get started. And let's have a look at all of this in some actual Python file. And here we have a completely empty one. And something we have seen already is to use the print statement. And in here, you can just write a random word. So a random word. And now if I execute the code, which again, I do with control B, or if I press alt, I can go to tools and build. Same thing. If I click on it, I get a random word. And just to be a bit more specific here, let me change this word to first line of code. And now if I add another print statement, let me duplicate this line, which I, by the way, do with control shift and D. That way you can duplicate lines in Sublime very easily. Now, what I want to do for the second line of code, I want to rename this to second line of code. And now if I run this, we get the second line of code, meaning this line here was run first, then we have number two, and this would then continue forever. We are essentially executing code downwards in this direction. And this would work with any other data type as well. For example, I could print some numbers and now we will get one, two, and three. And that is then giving us the most basic thing you have to understand that now we can execute some lines of code. And I suppose there's one more important thing when we are talking about words and print, and that is, let me copy this again, a space in here would also show up. Meaning if I add a ton of white space and run this again, we now get this line of code here. Let me rename it really quick, third line of code. All of this white space here is still showing up. So just keep that in mind. And well, with that, we have covered all of the basics of really basic code execution. And I guess with that, let's do an exercise. I want you guys to use these print statements to print some kind of tree looking shape. And for that, you want to use basic characters and white space and then combine these two and create that shape. So pause the video now and see how far you get. The way you have to think about it, I want to print again and I want to write five X's. And if I run the code now, we can see these five axes. If I now print these five axes again, one, two, three, four, five, but remove the first two and replace them with a space. If I now do this, I get the three axes on top of the five axes. And before the first X, we have a white space. So we start to have some kind of pyramid shape. I just want to continue. I want to print two spaces and an X. And if I run the code now, we can see we have a proper triangle. And this would be the top of my tree. And now I can copy this line. And at the bottom of the tree, I can add it three times. If I run this now, we have a tree. This is looking pretty good. Granted, it doesn't look too nice, but it is what it is. I suppose what we can also do I can just print empty strings with no word inside. If I do that, we have one line of space between the words we have covered earlier and our tree. Although one important thing really quick, there is one line in here that I left intentionally empty to organize my code. For Python, this line does not exist. If I run the code, the empty line we have here is because of this empty statement. 
This one comes right below the 1 to 3, this 1 to 3. This line for Python is just being ignored. Meaning, if you don't write a line of code, Python is just going to ignore it. Which is really helpful to keep your code organized. So, alright, this is then the most fundamental thing you have to understand, and it's pretty simple. We are just executing code from the top to the bottom.